The Hyundai Equus has got to be the strangest new car launch that I've ever been to in my career. Hyundai's not bringing out this car because they expect to sell tens of thousands of them in the American market. They're not looking for this car to boost their market share or even to bring in mountains of profits for the company. No, Hyundai's bringing out this car because they want it to change people's opinion of what the Hyundai brand is all about. But you know something? It might be too late. Until just a couple of years ago, the company wasn't really on anyone's radar. But today, it has serious momentum in North America. Its products like the Genesis, Elantra, and Sonata are all super solid offerings, and they're the vehicles that paved the way for Hyundai to bring the Equus to the U.S. Still, this car is a good example of what the company's capable of. Slide behind the wheel and you're greeted by soft leather on the seats and dashboard. Plus, it offers nearly every luxury amenity you can think of. Things like massaging seats, adjustable suspension, iPod connectivity, and more. You name it, the Equus probably has it. If the front seats are nice, the rear ones are thrones. They're more adjustable than a living room recliner. Plus, the legroom can put private jets to shame. And that's really what this car is all about. It's designed for wealthy buyers to get chauffeured around in. That's not to say it's an unenjoyable drive, because it's not. It's a very competent luxury car. Yeah, I just called a Hyundai a luxury car. The Equus is big, it's heavy, and it's super refined. Going down the road, it's as quiet as anything in its class, and the body feels like it was carved from a solid chunk of steel. A 4.6 liter V8 is tasked with moving all that mass. It turns out a very respectable 385 horsepower on premium fuel with 333 pound-feet of torque. A silky smooth ZF six-speed automatic transmission sends that oomph to the rear wheels. Getting the Equus to America likely took a huge push. I suspect the Koreans were desperate to prove that they could compete with the best in the world and therein lies the problem. They rushed it. As I mentioned before, the exterior design is the car's biggest letdown. It just doesn't do it justice. You pull up to the country club driving this thing, and no one's going to notice. Most people will probably think it's an old Mercedes or an old Lexus. Even so, overall, this is a pretty good car, so I cannot wait to see what the upcoming version will be like. Introducing Bridgestone's third generation of run-flat tires with groundbreaking new Bridgestone technologies. Bridgestone run-flat tires offer improved ride comfort, lower rolling resistance, and improved wear while giving you the peace of mind and comfort you need. 